Tell us. I have a creepy mannequin story. Mannequin. Ooh. And it's also uh, from Mexico. You said yours was from Mexico, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So There's this- a lot of like spiritual stuff that goes on in Mexico. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a very interesting uh, culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is the legend of La Pascualita. So, in March of 1930, Pascuala Esparza put a new mannequin on display in her bridal shop, La Popular. I don't know, like, if it's popular or popular, how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, the mannequin looked very lifelike, with flowing hair, glossy eyes, and very realistic hands. But most strangely, it resembled Pasquala's daughter, who at the time had recently died. Mm. Yeah. Passers-by in the town felt uneasy looking at the mannequin and began to believe it was the corpse of the shopkeeper's Oh my god. Uh, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, you know, rumors started spreading about that. Right. And people would say that it would blink or it would like start moving at night. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Over the decades, people have debated whether it, uh, it's a mannequin or a corpse, but experts tend to agree that it is a mannequin. Uh, the one thing that keeps this topic in debate is her hands. And I looked at the pictures of this, and I, uh, the hands are the most realistic part of the doll. I mean, the mannequin, and it's it's kind of off-putting. Mm. Like, Did you save any of the pictures? Uh, oh, no, I didn't do that. I should have. Yeah, you can show I, me. I think I, I have it, it still the... pulled up on my phone and... Okay, well, if you have it, yeah, after you're finished telling the story, yeah. you can pull it up. So, like, the hand, like, it has, it looks like it has fingerprints and, like, you know, lines and wrinkles and stuff, like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and they have discolored over time and the cuticles have dried out and drawn back from the nail bed like a Like a dead, human? Yeah, like a dead body's would. Come on, okay. What am I missing? Where'd she get this thing? It doesn't say. I mean, this happened in the 1930s. Uh, um, from what I found, I, I didn't really say exactly where she got the mannequin from. Yeah. I don't, if this was truly, you know, just her buying a mannequin she mm-hmm. liked, she wouldn't have known that it was going to yeah. cause such a stir. But, um, <laughs> so, uh. Except for the fact that it looked like her daughter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I saw pictures of the daughter and the mannequin and I could, there is like a resemblance. It has like the same face shape, mm-hmm. uh. The nose would be different, I would say, the most, or like the eyebrow part. But So the hands look really weird. And the mannequin is still on display in that bridal shop in Chihuahua, Mexico. Really? Yeah. See, what I'm liking about all these uh, Mexico-based stories is that... The proof is still they're there. Like, and it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, but Island of Dolls. Yep, and it exists now. <laughs> Oh, really? A mannequin with fingerprints. Yep. Got it right here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Like the fingernails. Yeah. It's not like, it doesn't look like just one piece of plastic. It looks like the fingernails are separate from the skin. Yes. Which is weird because, uh, I mean, the face is pretty realistic for a mannequin, but it's not as realistic as the hands are. Yeah. And then also the mannequin is always wearing a, I guess, kind of turtleneck dress. Like Uh the dress changes, but it's always a high neck cut. Yeah. So, and it does look like a weird transition between the neck and the shoulders. So I don't know, maybe part of it is a real body. Yeah. Like a serial killer freaking. How did the daughter die? Uh, Okay. So it was kind of hard to get like a really nailed down version of it, but Uh It seems like she died on her wedding day, like maybe of a, like a spider bit her or something. And this mannequin has a wedding dress on? Yeah. Well, her mom owned a wedding shop, like a bridal shop. Okay. So she stuck her in the display window with the wedding dress on. Okay. So it was her wedding day and there's no clear answer as to how she died. Uh, yeah. I read a few articles and... Only one mentioned her cause of death, and the cause of death was, like, being bit by a spider. But they were all, like, her dying on her wedding day, which is weird. Yeah. Maybe it was a serial killer. <laughs> and uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Serial killer took the body. <laughs> and then gave it to her mom? Gave it to her mom. Maybe it was the mom. Oh, maybe her mom didn't want to let her go. Yeah. 
Didn't want to give her away. Are you going to tell your mom's story? Oh, yeah. 